I'm talking about Meanwhile. Fry and Leela return to the site of their first delivery together, but it almost ends in Leela's death. Fry doesn't want to take another moment with Leela for granted, so he's finally going to propose, and he steals Farnsworth's new time button to make the moment last forever. It backfires. What happened? Did I break the button? I think you broke the universe! Everything but us is frozen! The result is basically a Futurama Twilight Zone episode, that's distinct from all those Scary Door episodes, and yet, it's a weirdly uplifting one. Despite not having a world as we know it anymore, Fry and Leela have each other, and that's all they need for a long, happy life of isolation. That's really romantic. It was a good life. Kinda lonely, though? Maybe? I was never lonely. Not even for a minute. It would have been bold to end the series right here. Make this the definitive ending of not just the show, but the entire Futurama universe. But, of course, they gave themselves an out, although one with some ambiguity. I've modded the device to release a single huge anti-chroniton blast. It should rip us out of stasis back to the instant before I conceived of the time button. You mean we'll all get to live our lives over again? Of course. We won't remember anything that's happened. So it's ambiguous when he conceived of the time button, and if they're going back without their memories, it's ambiguous if he will once again think of the time button, and everyone will make the same mistakes again. And what's more, when this episode originally aired, they reran the Futurama pilot right after it, which led a lot of fans to assume that the reset put the whole gang in an infinite loop of reliving the entire series start to finish all over again. That would have been an interesting note of sweetness in the face of futility. Fry and Leela are trapped reliving these lives forever, but they think it's worth it because they have each other. That's half depressing, half romantic. What do you say? Wanna go around again? I do. But since after this episode came the Simpsons episode, the Nerdist episode, and the upcoming revival, the more likely scenario is they go back to the beginning of this episode, never use a time button, and just continue on forgetting they were ever married. That's ultimately less bleak, but also simultaneously kinda less hopeful. It's kinda heartbreaking that they lose the memories of this life together, but it's nice they have a new life together. I don't know. Either interpretation is uh, kind of bittersweet, but in a really nice way. But even without the ambiguity, this is a perfect finale, and I just don't know how they're going to top it next time. Well, let's be real, it's a moot point, they're just never going to end TV shows anymore. Every show gets infinite lives now, finales will never actually be final. I'm so tired.